Different hat today, still a coal hat. Hey, Sean. Let's talk about the Zoom F6 and how to get your settings dialed in for video production. This could be the shortest video I ever make because this recorder has 32-bit floating point audio and two AD converters, which means that it can capture such a dynamic range of sound from the quietest sounds to the loudest sounds that you don't need to fiddle with your volume, with your gain. It's gonna record everything and you can adjust all of it later if you have a program that can manipulate the file, which Final Cut Pro can do, which Adobe Audition can do. There's a lot of programs that can work with a 32-bit float file. So if you set this up in 32-bit float, which you should do, and it's very easy. You go into the settings menu and you select record 32-bit float and that's it. And you can even record 32-bit float and a 24-bit file. But I don't know why you would do that. If you're gonna record a 24-bit file, then don't buy this recorder. This recorder has some flaws to it, but the, the reason you deal with those flaws is because of the two AD converters and its ability to record in 32 float. So. All of the other settings, like your limiter, your compressor, your, your high pass filter, your low pass filter, in general with any recorder, I don't recommend using those. I recommend recording as good, as, as good of a quality file as you can with the level set right and then adjusting all of those things later. That way you don't limit what's in your signal because a lot of times all of those effects in these recorders happen after it gets recorded. And it's all sort of a, a digital manipulation. There's no analog attenuation of the signal before it, it gets recorded and, and converted. So there's no reason to use those things most of the time in the recorder versus using them in post unless you're trying to speed things up. But if you want the best sounding audio, set this to 32 float, turn off everything else, and then once you put your file in post, then you can put your gain up or down to get the, the level right where you need it. You can get your, your compressor, you can get your limiter, and you can do all those things. And you actually don't even need them in the same way because if you adjust your gain properly for the different sections, you can have a file that's never going to clip, it's never gonna to drop too low, it's gonna be a perfect audio file just because it's a 32-bit float file. So I wish I had more to say in this video, but if you wanna set this thing up to do video production well, settings, record, format, 32-bit float, and you're gonna be set up with a file that's a little bigger than maybe some of the other formats, but it's gonna be a file that's going to protect you and let you do anything you want to the audio afterwards without having to have messed with anything in the recorder. That's it. If you got any questions, throw them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you later, bye.